What up, y'all? t -Biz here, and this is the last figure in the collect to build the Monitor. I like that you only have to get four of these figures. You don't have to buy a crap load of them, dude. That's always the best thing about the McFarlane build of figures, dude. Or collect the builds. They're CTBs, not BFs. Anyways, yeah, McFarlane Gold Label Collection, DC Multiverse Superman of Earth 2 from Crisis on Infinite Earths. Man, so yeah, we're going to learn a little bit about this Superman today. Anyways, um... I think I had two issues of Crisis on Infinite Earths because I think McFarlane did a cover, which was pretty cool, and I had that, and then I had like two. I had two issues. I might still have one of them. I don't know. I have to look through all my comics. Anyways, it's a lot. But anyways, uh, yeah, got him, man. Looks cool. I think it looks cool. There's some people kind of pissed about this one, but well, we'll find out why in a minute. Um, let's see, Superman of Earth Two, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Uh, we get the arms for the monitor to build him, and I realize I don't have the anti monitor. I didn't get him last year, so I kind of need him, but I don't have him. He's still you're still able to get him, but yeah, I didn't. You know, whatever. Uh, my buddy Overlord Productions already reviewed that figure. He got him last year. Anyways, uh, yeah, man. Let's go ahead and bust this guy out. But before we do that, got to read real quick, man, because I like to just educate myself and educate you in case you need it. All right. Let's read a little bit uh, Superman Earth 2. is an alternate version of the fictional superhero Superman who appears in American comic books uh, published by DC Comics. The character was introduced after DC Comics created Earth 2. A parallel world that was retroactively established as the home of characters whose adventures had been published in the golden age of comic books. This allowed creators to publish Superman comics, comic books taking place in current continuity while being able to disregard golden age stories. Solving an in, a congruity as Superman had been published as a single ongoing incarnation since inception... This version of the character first appeared in Justice League of America number seventy number seventy three August nineteen sixty nine. Bit about his uh, part in uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Kal El was one of the heroes from various Earths who fought to save the multiverse from destruction during the, the events on Crisis on Im Infinite Earths, and was present at the battle of, at the dawn of time in which the five remaining Earths were merged into a single universe. As a result, Kal-El still insisted and still remembered the history of his home reality, even though no one in the new reality remembered he had ever existed. After grieving over the loss of his wife, Lois, and his uh, friends from Earth 2, Kal-El joins the remaining heroes for a final battle with the Anti-Monitor, in the anti-matter universe where the anti-monitor has absorbed all life after the small army of heroes managed to weaken the anti-monitor Kal-El chooses to stay behind and sacrifice himself to save the new universe while the other heroes leave not wanting to live on in a world that no longer remembers him after a prolonged battle Kal-El strikes the final blow that kills the anti-monitor Alexander Luthor Jr. of Earth-3 then reveals to Kal-El that he saved the Lois Lane Kent of Earth-2 from the collapse of the multiverse. He then transports Kal-El, um, Kal Lois Lane, and Superboy of Earth-Prime and himself into a paradise dimension, sealing themselves off from the universe. As a tribute to Earth-2, uh, Superman before the Superman character was recreated by John Byrne in the Man of Steel miniseries, Kal-El's origin was retold in Secret Origins number 1, April 1986, written by Roy Thomas and drawn by former Superman artist Wayne Boring. Uh, in post-crisis continuity, Kal-El's role in various All-Star Squadron adventures was taken by the character Iron Monroe from the Young All-Star series. Kal-El's role as the most respected member of the Justice Society of America and the person who found his cousin Power Girl were given to the Golden Age Green Lantern, Alan Scott, and to Kal-El, respectively. Lee Travis, the first Crimson Avenger, became the first costume hero of the post-crisis universe after being shown a vision of Kal-El's future heroism before the start of his career, keeping Superman as the inspiration for Earth superheroes and the new universe as well. Kal-El later felt 
that the paradise was more a prison than a refuge, and he eventually discovered a doorway that would allow him to leave Paradise Dimension without causing the destruction of the universe. Yeah, that's crazy, man. That's a lot going on. That is really weird. Anyways, I'm sorry you had to sit through that, but hey, man, I gotta educate, man. Anyways, uh, myself, mainly, but maybe you too. But anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and um, get this guy open. Looks and here's good old Soups, Cal L. This figure's badass. I like him so far. Um, is it perfect? No, nothing's ever perfect, man. If you're looking for perfection in this world, you need to, you need to you hit the road, Jack. You go into the next life or whatever. But anyways, we've got the monitor's arms, so we're gonna have him completed. So that's gonna be freaking cool. Freaking awesome. Freaking neat, dude. Really cool. Cool, cool, cool. He's got some crazy ass hands or gloves, man. Those are nutty. Look at that. Let's look at, get a closer look. That is nutty. And I don't have the anti monitor, so I can't compare anything. I don't know if these guys are the same size or not. Because I don't have them. And I never watched my buddy's review, which I need to watch. But, um,. And here's the ye old collectible trading card out of Superman of Earth 2. So there you go, a little bit more, oop, sorry, let me focus. A little bit more older grizzled Kal-El than we're used to. Let's see, uh, let's see, D -d 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 Superman, real name Kal-El, Superman is world, oh, okay, so this is just, uh, yeah, this is just his basic bio. So what I told you in the synopsis before, that's pretty much it. So yeah, we all know who Superman is. Um, yeah, I love this figure, dude. But there is one thing about him which dudes are losing their shit over, and I will show you in a minute. Um, yeah, he looks cool. He looks freaking cool, man. I dig him. I digs him, dude. See the creases in his tights, his boots, everything. Wire cape, which is bad. I wasn't expecting a wire cape, dude. That's badass as shit, dude. I'm not gonna lie. And then the thing that dudes are losing their mind is it's like his belt isn't painted all the way in the back. Which I can understand that because it's a forty dollar figure and stuff. I can I get that. I understand that completely. But um, how many times are you just gonna be looking at his at the back of his ass? You know, I mean, I guess like even if you did a picture or whatever, and he was in this position with his cape kind of like flinging in the air, you're still not gonna see his butt unless you just like man ass a lot and have to see his ass. Um, other than that, no, you're not gonna really see it. I mean, you can kind of see it from the side, but I don't know, man. I'm not going to lose my mind over it, dude. I just, I'm just not, I'm just not built that way or wired that way to just lose my shit over just a little bit of paint that's missing. I just, I don't know, man. I just, I'm not that guy. I don't know. It just seems stupid to me, but, uh, whatever. And to each their own. I like this figure so far. He's pretty badass, man. If that's the only thing that's missing, that's, I don't know, man. It's not that bad. I figure if you're more freaked out about this yellow paint, you really need to, like, check your priorities in life and, and, and what you and what you get upset about you know if, if that's making your day you know real bad then you need to like i said reprioritize your your shit anyways he looks badass man i like him i love the wire cape i wish it was kind of wired on the on the the rim or the bottom of the cape too but it's not but that this works just as is man it's cool man and once again we'll just go ahead and check out the face sculpt a little bit closer more grizzled, older kal which I like. That's awesome. A little whitewash for some gray. Some salt and pepper hair. Got the butterflies. Uh, you got the bicep and shoulder swivel. Double elbows. Got big old fat wrists with a hinge and a swivel. And swivel all the way around and stuff. And uh, let's see, I got the midriff, a good range. Swivels all the way around. Waist swivels all the way around too. Splitsies, double knees, ham hock ankles with uh, rocker pivot swivel and toe joints. So there you go, man. There you freaking go. And wire cape, dude, which I, which I love, man. That's, that's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting this. Because my buddy Overlord was telling me that the dudes were freaking out or bitching about it. But he didn't mention anything about a wire cape. I'm like, damn, I don't give two shits about that yellow paint, dude. The wire cape just makes this figure totally tits, to be honest with you, man. That's freaking awesome. I wish, the only thing I wish, it would have came with a flight stand. I mean, we already got quite a few flight stands. I have several. Oh, he just fell over. Anyways, yeah, I have several. But um, 
but another one, I've, I'm never hurting for another one. So if anybody's watching from Todd's company, man, uh, give us some more flight stands all the time. I like them. I think I could do it. But uh, yeah, that's a badass figure, man. I like him a lot. If you like soups, I think he's freaking great. And that's it. That's all I got to say. Um, I guess I'll put his other hands on him. We'll just give him a different pose or something, man. But I don't feel like you have to do much because that wire cape really adds a lot. It really does. It's awesome, man. This is a badass Superman. Like, dude, I'm so old school that, like, you know, Christopher Reeves is my Superman back in the day. And as a little kid, if you were to get little kid, once again, we got to go back there. I know you guys probably don't give a shit or care, but I do. Because I've been in this game for a long time. And you give little kid T-Biz this figure. I would have had a fucking hoot. I'm sorry to drop that bomb. But I would have had a fucking hoot with this figure. I would I would have dude all day long. Every day with this figure. Just playing with it. Just running around the house. With the towel like strapped around my damn uh, neck dude. Just yeah dude. It would have been the blast dude. Bees knees dude. Really freaking cool. Because we had. What we had back then were like. We had Migos and stuff like that, but um, Jiggler, Jiggler toys and stuff. I had a Jiggler Spider-Man that was really cool, and I like that figure a lot, but I don't know what happened to him. He's really cool. Anyways, that's, we're getting off subject again, as usual, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy posed up. Then we're going to get the monitor put together and talk about him a bit. So, yeah, let's get, get, let's get them all posed. All right. Alrighty, folks, and here we have our soups all posed up. He looks badass. This is a cool figure. I like him a lot. I really, really do. I think he pops more on camera as far as the blue goes than he does like I feel like it's a more like more just like paler muddier blue like sky blue or baby blue or whatever you want to call it but I feel like on camera it looks a lot brighter it just does I don't know I don't know what the hell I'm talking about but yeah he's badass yeah there's that paint right there but other than that man it's just that's fucking sick you can go get yellow paint and paint that by the way too it's not the end of the world but anyways um yeah, this figure's the shit, dude. I like him. He's like one of my favorite Supermans now, dude. He really freaking is, just because of the damn wire cape, I think. But I also like his older grizzled look. Um, I like the buck. It's a cool buck, man. And um, and I'm not going to go tear down the shelf and get all my damn Supermans together. But yeah, we got quite a few now. But anyways, man, let's get this monitor built and get all the figures out and do whatever and be done with this. All right. Folks, now the circle is complete. We have the monitor built. He looks badass. He's a nice figure. He's really cool. He's pretty tall. Pretty freaking tall. But um, yeah, dude, oh, we'll do some comparisons real quick as high how tall he is. We'll have our old school red tornado right there. So that tells you how tall he is. Here's because he's been hanging out here forever. I need to give him a different face plate. But uh, here's Brave Star. Here's our Brave Star figure. That we got from was it five was five K toys right yeah we got Brave Star yeah so there you go there's Brave Star and um, here we go we're gonna do it one more uh, King Gray Skull so there you go there's King Gray Skull that tells you how big this guy is he's about like around what seven eight inches somewhere around there somewhere give or take give a few and then good old because uh, we still have him out here is a uh, Cliff Burton so there you go if Cliff Burton was standing straight they might be almost the same size. But anyways, but there you go. Yeah, he's a pretty tall damn dude. Um, yeah, put these guys back in the abyss. Let's get a closer look all together. Yeah, he's badass, dude. I like this guy a lot. It's a good figure. The face sculpt is just great. Really good. All sculpting detail on his outfit and stuff like that. What, uh, which also leaves open for a customization, especially on the skirt right here, if you wanted to paint it up or do some extra stuff to it or even the metal on his chest plate and stuff like that. This needs to peg in a little bit more, but I imagine you could, if you wanted to, you glue that in. His arms go out. He's got uh, butterflies. All the same damn articulation, pretty much, man. Pretty much the same articulation. Split tees. Legs peg in really nice. That's what I like about this figure. Oh, I said that, and then his leg came out. I need to get it in there a little bit better. Let me use my damn muscles. All right, there we go, yep. That's funny. But yeah, man, I like him. He's cool. But I don't have the anti monitor, man. And if you have the if you have the anti monitor, let me know in the comments if uh, he's the same or not or whatever. Or borrows a few parts. But yeah, man. Let's get him posed up and we'll read, read up a little, little bit from the wiki. And we had, here he is striking a pose for you. Anyways, uh, see uh, the, the monitor or over monitor, also known as Mar Novu. Renovu is a fictional character created by a uh, writer, Marv Wolfman, and artist George Perez. I love George Perez, man. He's, he's, oh man, that's like, 
That's, that's like my definitive like looks for DC heroes is George Perez's art. As one of the main characters of DC Comics Crisis on Infinite Earths limited series, the character began appearing along with his assistant Lila Michaels in numerous DC comic titles beginning in 1982, uh, three years before the crisis began in July 1985. These appearances made it seem that he was some sort of weapons dealer for supervillains. This was all part of the setup Wolfman and the staff of DC Comics planned for the crisis, showing the Monitor carrying favor with the villains, such as, uh, let me see, such as uh, Maxi Zeus prior to calling on the heroes. The Monitor was depicted in the shadows for all his appearances in DC's mainstream superhero titles, and his face was revealed in one of their few remaining non-superhero titles, the war comic GI Combat issue number 274. Wow, that'd be cool to look and find that issue up and find that comic, man. Let's see, first appearance, uh, New Teen Titans volume one, number 21, 1982. Uh, fully seen GI Combat 274, 1985. Uh, Let's see, team affiliations, Justice League, Hero and Heroines of the Multiverse, Partnerships, Mobius and An the Anti-Monitor, Brother uh, Alpheus, the World Forger, Older Brother, um, Perpetua, the Super Celestial Mother of DC Multiverse, Abilities, Cosmic Powers, Matter Manipulation, uh, Energy Manipulation, Telekinesis, Telepathy, Energy Projection, Superhuman Strength and Agility. So he's... OP as hell. Anyways, let's get all these figures for this wave together and let's do a little thing, man, and be done with it. Hey, folks, and here are all the five figures for this uh, collect build wave for the, the, the monitor, not the anti monitor. Uh, yeah, man, freaking cool, dude. Freaking cool. I really, really need to read this whole story, get the, maybe the graphic novel, see if I can find it cheap or something like that, man, because, um, yeah, I got to read the whole story. Or find some of those back issues, like I mentioned, like that GI combat would be cool. But all you know, all in all, man, I like this wave. It's a pretty good wave. I think it's representative of uh, the characters in the story. Apparently, uh, duh, because they wouldn't have put these characters if they didn't have any importance in the story. Uh, yeah, they're badass, man. This is a good ass wave. I love it, man. I, I don't have any complaints, man. That's what's up. I've been collecting McFarlane figures for quite some time now, and for me, I feel like they keep getting better and better and better. Are they perfect? A lot of action figures aren't going to be perfect. They, but they've come a long ways. And some have come very long ways. And, um, and yeah, dude, because I've been collecting since, geez, since I was a little kid, man. I'm about to be 48 years old this year. Anyways, I'm, I'm done with the preaching and the jarring and stuff like that, man. John, um, yeah, let me know what you think about this wave. And uh, if you think it's worth the crap or not. And uh, if it matters or not. Because it kind of doesn't, kind of doesn't. But anyways, yeah, I love that Superman. That Superman's badass. It's just, it's, they look all nice together. Anyways, I'm done ranting and raving. Um, Y'all have a good one. And uh, yeah, man, I'll see you in the next video. All right, later.